Hey dudes, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Bailey, and in today's video, I am doing a little dog mom day in the life. So, mainly also preparing for Ivy to give birth. So, many of you may or not may not know, but Ivy is actually pregnant and expecting puppies literally within like a week, and I'm not prepared whatsoever. I literally have been so focused on Indy's litter that, and with us getting sick, it just kind of slipped by me, but today we are going to be getting ready for that, and then, you know, just taking you along with my day, seeing the puppies, possibly I thought about showing you guys what we make for dinner tonight, to kind of get a little bit more about our life in today's vlog, and not just all about the dogs, but yeah, I'm excited. I think today's going to be a really fun video and I'm excited for you guys to see it. So if you're new here and you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button down below. It means the world to me when you guys subscribe to my channel. Without further ado, let's just get into today's vlog. All right, guys, you probably just heard one of these little munchkins in the back, but they are kind of chill right now. So I'm going to just let them be. Back here is where Ivy's like welcome box and all that is going to go. That box right there and that box is the welcome box. I'm going to be talking about them here in just a little bit. But before I do all that, I want to go ahead and just vacuum everything and possibly mop. I don't know if you can tell, but the floor is quite dirty. I'd like to at least vacuum and mop back there before putting like her setup back there. And while puppies are kind of calm and chill and not super, super hyper, figured it would be a good time to do that. Although it's literally going to get dirty like right away. I just figured since they're chill and this is probably going to be my only chance to do it, I might as well get it done. So I'm going to start vacuuming. I might do like a little time lapse of me vacuuming or something, but I'm going to vacuum and mop, maybe mop, definitely vacuum, possibly mop here. And then I will catch up with you guys in a second. Good job. Yay. Pup, pup, puppy. Good job. Yeah, good job. And same with my eyebrows. So I do apply this on my eyebrows. I used to over my eyebrows when I was in middle school and high school, and I used to overly arch my eyebrows. I don't really like that look anymore. I actually have fluffy eyebrows, but I just plucked out. All right, guys, I finished mopping. As you can see, the floor's still wet, so it needs to dry. Pups are getting a little anxious because they haven't been out in a while, so as soon as this dries, I'm going to take them outside for a little play slash slash potty break. And then after that, we'll start probably setting up Ivy's wooden box, depending though it is 1034. And I do have to take Freddie to the vet at 1130 because he has been sick and there's something wrong. We're going to have to figure out what's going on with him. But as soon as this dries, we're going to take them guys out. And then if we have time before I have to go to the vet, we'll start setting it up. If not, we'll do it after. On another note, here's all the other dogs, and Indy got groomed yesterday for the first time in, like, a long time, and I think she just looks so pretty. Also, guys, we did end up doing our photo shoot yesterday. If you're new here, you might not know, but we do, like, a photo shoot with every single litter that we have, or at least we have so far, and yesterday was our photo shoot with the Ski Town litter, and then also some updated adult photos. I really wanted our guardians to be here, but unfortunately, since it was, you know, on a random weekday, none of them could make it. Hopefully, we'll get them in the next one with Ivy's litter, but... It was so much fun, but it was also so, so cold. So I didn't end up getting any behind the scenes footage I wanted to, but it was just so cold. And with six dogs and eight puppies, it just wasn't possible. But I will go ahead and insert some of those photos after this clip if I have them back. By the time this video goes live Sunday, if not, go follow us on my Instagram. I'll put it here on the screen. Follow us there and you can definitely check out some of those photos over on there. All right, guys, we're outside playing. Aspen's all the way over there, finishing a potty. Come on! Come on, pup, 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 puppy! Our Nana's here. I wonder what she's doing. Come on, pup, 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 puppy! She's with Freddy. Hi! Hi! Oh, taking a potty break. And then two. All right, we just came in from playing. Pups are eating lunch. Got some in their normal bowl and some in their snuffle mat. They're enjoying it. They really like the snuffle mat. The first time with it was yesterday. Yeah, we're just eating lunch. 
Oh, wipe that out. <laughs> and potentially going to ruin the perfectly good floor just mopped. So that's what we're up to now. All right, guys. So I'm currently on the way to the vet with Freddie. You can probably hear him meowing in the back. He hates being in his carrier. But I didn't obviously get to setting up the walking walk just yet, but we're gonna do that as soon as we get back. I've just gotta run him to the vet real quick. I am going to leave him there and then just come back and get him later. Once they call me, hopefully, he might possibly need surgery. He might have a blockage. Basically what's been happening is he's been throwing all his food up and not able to keep like a single thing down. And it's just getting to the point where like he's starting to lose weight. And I just knew that it clearly wasn't clearing up by itself, so. We're off to the vet with sweet Mr. Freddy. Hopefully the vet figures out what is wrong with him and it'll be a simple fix. Even if it is surgery and requires surgery, hopefully he'll heal quickly. So that's what we're doing now, but I'll catch with you guys once we get back home. All right, guys, we just had a friend over socializing with the puppies and now they're all in their crates, taking a nap or trying to take a nap. Jackson's over here. So that's what they're doing now. All right, guys, I just finished picking up Freddy. He's in the seat beside me, and literally they found nothing wrong with him. Like, they did x-rays, two different views. He had food throughout his intestines and his colon, so clearly he doesn't have a blockage. He doesn't have a tender abdomen. He doesn't have a fever. Like, they were like, he literally like, has nothing wrong with him. And I was like, great. So I just spent $300 on him to tell me that there's nothing wrong with him, even though there's clearly something wrong with him because he keeps throwing up his food. They told me that maybe he's like, eating too fast or try to slow feeder bowl or something which I don't have one for a cat they did give me some medication to give him um hopefully to help with the nausea and that will help prevent him from throwing up but yeah that's just the reality sometimes of owning animals is they just you know, just throw up and get sick sometimes and then there's nothing to explain it and then you drop their hundred bucks at the vet so I'm thankful I'm not spending over a grand on surgery but still that's just part of it but I guess the good thing is Freddie's fine and yeah, whatever. But I'm finally going home now to start on what I've been wanting to do all day, which is set up Ivy's whooping area. So I'll catch up with you guys once I get home. All right guys, the puppies were in crates taking their nap while I was at the vet. So I'm gonna let them out to pee. Let's open the door. We'll do these guys first. Come on, let's go potty. Come on, come on, let's go potty. Go pee pee. Come on. Go potty. Good job. Good job, Palmer. All right, they've potty. The wind blew our recycling over. Go ahead and do. Come on. Good job. I'm going to put these puppies in here. Now go outside. Go. Go. Come on. Come on. The other ones are mad. Can do these two. Go potty. Come on. Good job. Good job. Aspen, you going to potty? Good girl. Come on. And I'm letting these four out. Come on, let's go potty. Come on. Come on. Go pee pee. Go potty. Good job. Go potty. Good job. Go potty. You can hear Ellie upset that she can't get to him. Go potty. You're almost there. Go potty. Go potty, so. Good job, so. Good job, Belle. Good job. Okay, come on. Pup, 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 puppy. Come on. Come on, puppies. Come on. Good job. Come on. Good job. Excuse me. Okay. Good job. Let's go in there now. All right, guys. I haven't ate lunch, so I'm going to eat some cheese it's drink a sun drop. I'm not southerner, so you all know. And watch some Tori and Chad Masters and just take a break before I get started into my next task. 
All right, guys, I just finished my snack. Tiger, you don't need to go outside. Some hot and spicy Cheez-Its, which are bomb. And now we're going to be putting the welcome box together. I've got the pads and the box there. So time to finally do what I've been wanting to do the whole day. All right, guys, I ended up having to take a phone call, but now we can finally do this. It's three o'clock now, but I am super excited to be putting up this new welcome box. So we are gonna be using this welcome box brand for Ivy's Litter. So in the past, we just ordered like garden boxes off of Amazon. And although those worked and they were decently affordable, they were very, very flimsy. Andy would lay in the box and it would like come apart and it just was really honestly not the best. So with that being said, I'm super excited to be partnering with Pup Easy on today's video. They were gracious enough to send me this welcome box kit slash system and some welcome box pads. Super excited because these are super aesthetically pleasing. They're very similar to the garden boxes in look as the fact that they're white. They're super easy to clean and also really easy to put together and they come with pig rails already so you don't have to worry about making those. So I'm super excited to be showing you guys this box and the system and everything and showing you guys everything that they sent me and what it looks like. So I believe I got the medium. It's the four by four one. I'll put the one on the screen that I got. Um, and I also got the extender panel. So it like makes it bigger for when puppies get older, but they're not quite ready for a big, big pin like the one behind me. It like has an extension that's in the back there. I'll show you guys that in a later video once Ivy's puppies are ready to use it, which is gonna be super exciting. The puppies are gonna be here before you know it. And then they also sent me their welcome pad super excited to use these as well so this is the washable pee pad it's 50 by 50 which is a great size and i'm super excited to be using these as well i'm always interested in trying new pee pads to see which are most exorbitant things like that so they sent me two of these and i'm gonna put this down before like we put the box so i'm just super excited to try this out i've literally heard such good things about them their website i'll also put on the screen here and you can use my code hey dudes to get $50 off any size box I'll leave a link in the description box for you to click and check it out I'm really excited to show you guys I think you're gonna love them as much as I do so if you're a breeder or thinking about getting into breeding I definitely think you should check this company out they're affordable they're easy to put together they're durable easy to clean like and aesthetically pleasing with the white which I love because I'm not a huge fan of like dark colors or anything and I'm just super excited. So let's go ahead and unbox it. All right guys, so I've got all the parts out. I've got the faces, the panels, the door panel, and then the like little pig rails that it comes with. It also comes with really good detailed instructions on how to put it apart with pictures, which I love, and little letters. So I am going to get to assembling this and hopefully it goes smoothly because I am not the builder in this marriage. It is only Matt, but he's at work right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it together and we'll see how easy this thing is to build. this far and so far it's pretty easy I'm just really not good with building stuff but I was gonna build it all out here and then just move it into here but I don't think that's smart and I hate it because our light in here isn't working right now so Matt's gotta fix that but it's just gonna make more sense to put it in here so I'm gonna go ahead and get out the welding pad and lay it down and build the rest of it in here let me move their dog food back I ended up spilling some of it so I'm just gonna end up building the rest of it in here. So that's what I'm about to do now. So I'm almost done with everything except for the front. I just wanted to point out one thing about this box that I really, really like is it's higher than their other one. 
so puppies will have a hard time crawling out and also the well-being rails are built in so that's nice they're off the ground then secondly our other whelping box from amazon that just the garden box did not come all the way to the floor so puppies were like almost like rolling out of the whelping box because it had like a gap and when they were really really small they would get underneath there they would like get out of the whelping box so i really like that this one goes all the way down to the ground so i'm almost done i'm going to put the front together and then i'll talk to you guys about kind of the front system and how that works Right, guys so i got it fully assembled i did leave one little panel here this is one thing that i really love about this welcome box is the entrance and how you can change it so the other like this wall comes out halfway and you obviously build the wall all the way up and then this wall right here you can actually remove all the panels so when you connect the other welcome box it connects there and or like the extender panels you can connect it and you'll have this whole area so you can kind of automatically give puppies a designated like potty slash play area sleep slash play slash potty area and also my other issue with the other welcome boxes it was just one panel straight across and in order to let mom in and out i had to basically leave one panel off and then it was really flimsy with that panel off but if i didn't take that panel off mom couldn't get in the welcome box well this right here since they've split it in two you still get the height right here so puppies can't get out and then depending on how high your mom can jump like i could take this one out and she could just have an easy step in which i might do you could put this one so it kind of blocks puppies when they're like three weeks old and then once they're old enough to completely get out of the box if mom's not in here or you're using it for something else you can put the other panel up and have it like completely tall so i love the entrance and like the way you can change it up and how it's not the full length of the panel it's just this small cute little door I really really like that and that was something that was just really inconvenient about the last well box well there was a ton of inconvenient things about that like I said it's good just to have if you know you're just starting out it's affordable but this was not even that much more expensive than the garden box on Amazon and this is so much better like the whelping rails are already installed you don't have to have them on the ground like I said it comes to the ground like the panels do so I'm, I'm really obsessed with this box and i'm loving it there is one more thing i need to add in here it does come with like the caps on the top of the box so you don't have like these little things so you just pop that on like that and it's good to go so really loving how this turned out so if you guys like this welcome box as well and want to give it a try for yourself you can click the link down below in the description box and use my code hey dudes for $15 off any box like I said I believe I have the medium I'll put it on the screen here exactly which one I have but I know it is the 4 by 4 the 48 by 48 inches so I'm really obsessed with this and I'm super excited to see what Ivy thinks all right guys puppies are ready to go out I had to stop and help my nail with something box is still there so I'm going to finish cleaning up let the puppies out and then finish showing you guys all of that all right, puppies are out playing. I'm really not sure what I filmed last, but I've got my camera. I'm gonna get in here and set up. And then I've also got our whelping cart. It's covered in a trash bag so it wouldn't get so dusty. Cause as you see, I feel like with dust, like with, not with dust, with puppies, dust collects super easily. So covered it with a trash bag, but I've got my camera. I think I'm gonna try to prop it up on this corner like I normally do, but we'll see if it works. All right, it's not super sturdy, but it does sit there. So I'm gonna leave that here for now. Need to get this out of here, but I didn't want the puppies chewing on it. And then I need to check our whelping box. Or not whelping box, our whelping cart. Just need to, these are all been sanitized. Gloves are dirty. I need to get some new gloves. I've got that. I need to put new collars in here. All of these have been washed and ready. So I need to fill this with some pee pads and then it should be basically ready to go besides maybe a few things up here i just need to double check and look i need my septic powder and i'll have some medicine from the vet once i go on monday so i'm gonna go get some pee pads and put them in here all right this isn't complete but i did 
add some different color collars. We've got some pretty boring colors this time, but I've got some bigger collars I need to use. So I'm going to just use some boring colors this round. Need to add our um, septic powder, like bleeder stop. I've got all our oral cows, thing like that. I need some more gloves. I need to go to church supply and get some. I've got our wipes, our towels, little towels I use to dry the puppies, some pee pads. Also need to add like a roll of paper towels to this. But for the most part, it's got pretty much everything. All right, guys, I have a phone call for a puppy application in like five minutes. So I'm turning on some music for the puppies, some lullabies. They're all in their crates for their second crate nap of the day. I'm gonna put them on some sweet little lullabies to try to help them sleep. Here we go. I just let the puppies out and I finished cooking dinner. They were in their pens for probably 45 minutes to an hour, their crates, getting a nap in while I cooked dinner. Now we're outside letting them use the potty. I was gonna show you guys me making dinner, but I opted out of that because I was just really trying to get it done. But I will show you guys once the, like it's done and I have the final product. So it's just like chicken, green beans and potatoes. Super simple, really easy, like one sheet pan dinner. But yeah, I'm letting the puppies out now. Come here. Uh, hi, what's in your mouth? Mm. Hey guys, so I'm popping on here to end this vlog in the not so greatest way. I don't really know how to even go about saying this, but I promised you guys I would always keep it real here on my channel and show you the good and bad of breeding. And I know I've talked on and on about how hard breeding can be and how it's not easy and how it shouldn't be taken lightly. And this just goes to show that shouldn't be but I filmed this video this past Thursday and everything seemed fine everything was normal and then early on Friday morning I woke up um, to some not so normal things with Ivy um, so she was going into what I thought was preterm labor um, she was not due for another week and she started delivering puppies and all were deceased when they were born or stillborn as we call it. Um, so since she was delivering them and not having an issue, I waited until my vet opened up at 8am and called them immediately and was like, I don't know what's going on. You know, she's not ready. Like they're too early. And obviously they told me to come in to try to figure out like what was going on and see if we could stop it if there was anything we could figure out going on so I brought her in immediately we had had four puppies at this point all deceased stillborn and so I brought her in and they took her back um, and they did an x-ray and then they did an ultrasound so there was three puppies left inside of her and they did an ultrasound though and like they were all like deceased like they were not alive the vet basically called it a late-term miscarriage, so the puppies have been dead for, she thinks, maybe 24 to 48 hours, and Ivy was miscarrying. Um, it's not unheard of. It's definitely possible. Um, it's unfortunate. It's devastating, honestly. Only reason I'm not crying right now is because I've given myself a, like a day or so to really process and grieve this, and I'm trying to stay strong for Ivy. Um, she is doing okay. She's doing the best she can. She's healthy. She's alive. That's really all we could ask for. As devastating and heart heartbreaking as it is to lose a whole litter, I'm just thankful that Ivy's still here with us and that she's alive and that she's okay. She's on some antibiotics to help her and make sure there's no infection. And we ran a ton of labs and sent off even a deceased puppy to a university for further study to try and find out the cause of this. We're hoping we can find an answer, but if we can't, unfortunately, this is just a part of it. This is mother nature. Sometimes things don't make sense. Sometimes we lose puppies and it it's heart-wrenching and it's heartbreaking and it doesn't make sense. And it's not fair. It really isn't. Um, but in the end, my vet was even just telling me, she's like, sometimes things just happen. Like, there's no explanation. There's no reasons. Like, placentas could have been bad from the beginning. Like, we just don't know. Hopefully, once they said about a week for the um, lab results to come back. And if that doesn't show anything, 
we basically can just determine it was a fluke, which I'm hoping we'll find something. So the heck, there could be some sort of explanation for why this happened because I genuinely don't understand. Like, I kept wanting to blame myself and trying to wonder like if I did something wrong, if, if I missed something and my vet was like, you've done nothing wrong. Like things like this just happen. Like you, there's nothing you could have done to prevent this basically. Um, I'm just honestly at a loss of words. Like I said, if I had talked about this yesterday, I probably would have been losing it on camera, but I've cried about all the tears I can cry and I'm trying to be strong and to put my feelings aside for Ivy and to be here for her. My sweet friend Allie got me these balloons and those flowers over there. Um, she's been, some of, my, some of my breeder friends, like the ones that know about this, have genuinely been so nice and I even talked to a breeder today who actually just had this happen a couple months ago just and she even knew someone who had this happen to them they just you know breeders just don't talk about this sort of thing because it's hard it's impossible it's it's just so difficult and like no one likes to share the bad things no one likes to share the devastating things that just seriously don't seem to make sense but I promised you guys from the get-go to be honest and to be transparent and Unfortunately, this just happened to us and we're one of the few and you know, you never think something like this is going to happen to you until it does and as sad and devastated as we are, I'm really just thankful that Ivy's okay and that we have her still because it could have been much worse. We could have lost her as well. Um, but yeah, I didn't want to just make a separate video about this and tell you guys about this separately and just make a depressing video and I know this whole video was about preparing for Ivy's puppies and although that's no longer happening I did think it was still good for you guys to see and informative it could maybe help another breeder who's preparing for their first litter or something like that so I didn't want to just completely disregard this video and not put it up for you guys but although it isn't the ending we had hoped for and we're devastated and it's easily the hardest thing I have ever went through as a breeder or even in life um I just didn't feel right not uploading this video and I don't know, just making one whole video about the situation. Like, I just didn't want it to be a super depressing thing, even though it really is. Um, but yeah, I'll update you guys in the next video on how Ivy's doing. Like I said, she's doing great so far. She's healing. She's, luckily, since she had, like, a miscarriage, basically, like, dogs don't really, like, although they are so in tune with us and they love us and they can understand our emotions so well, like, she doesn't seem to miss the puppies or even realize that she had them and that they're no longer here like she's not missing them or searching for them it honestly doesn't even seem like she realizes that she was even pregnant like she's really coping and handling it well so i'm very thankful for that i would appreciate any and all prayers that you guys have to spare obviously negative comments or anything like that will not be tolerated they will be deleted um at this point i know we don't know if we'll ever breed ivy again we're gonna wait and see how she heals from this see what the lab results come back with and then at that time we'll possibly reevaluate with our vet and see you know if it, another litter is possible if it's even smart to try if not we'll spare um but right now that's just kind of not something we're even considering or thinking about we're just focusing on getting her healthy and just kind of grieving this process and trying to cope and kind of move on from here because it really has me questioning if I'm meant to be, be a breeder, if I'm meant to do this, and obviously it, I feel like it would anyone. So I'm going to keep my head up as best I can, take care of Ivy, and get these puppies to their forever home, the lucky eight that we do have. I'm so thankful to have eight healthy puppies currently. But as always, I just wanted to tell you guys this, let you in on what was going on with us, and be real with you guys like I have been from the beginning. But I love you guys. I would appreciate for you to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.